My name is Ellen Herlesh Pretzer. I am a Pause at the Cause volunteer foster puppy raiser. I am a field representative. I am a presenter. I am a foster puppy class instructor. I am a consultant. I am a Pause Prison Partners training class instructor. And I am a consultant with the Pause with the Cause Animal Assisted Interventions Program. There's a lot of different reasons why PAWS is so important to me and so close to my heart. A lot of it goes back to my professional training as an occupational therapist. I went to school and I work to help people with disabilities become more independent in what they want and need to do every day. And a PAWS with a cause service dog fulfills that mission. On the flip side, being involved with PAWS as a foster puppy raiser and a volunteer, it allows me to give my time and give, give back in a way that I love. I always tell people that volunteering shouldn't be a chore. Volunteering should be something you love to do. And I love to work with the dogs. I love to educate people about them. So by working with PAWS, it's a huge way for me to be able to combine that, the value I place on volunteering and giving back and making sure that I'm doing something good while I'm on this earth. And combined with something I love to do anyways, towards this end goal of helping people be more independent in what they want and need to do. So for me, it's just been a perfect fit. One of the other things I do as a field representative is I teach our obedience classes for our foster puppy raisers who are raising our future assistance dogs with Paws with a Cause. And their job is to teach the puppies their basic obedience and their manners and their socialization so that the dogs have the foundational skills that they need to become successful service dogs when they grow up. As an occupational therapist, I was always trained when I work with a client, I need to work with them in the real environment, the real context, their own home, their own community, their own places where they live and work and play. And that's what PAWS does. When we assess a client, we go to their house and to their community. We see what is it like for you, which is so important. If I have a client with a complex disability, like a person with quadriplegia or a person who needs a lot of technology to get through their day, I need to see how their home is set up. And we need the dog to work in their actual environment where the client is every day. And that's what PAWS does with their dogs. And that's why for me as an occupational therapist, it was, the organization was such a good fit. Having a PAWS with a cause dog can change clients' lives in so many different ways. One of the most basic things we think of is that idea of independence. When we work with the clients, we find out exactly who they are as a person. What is their personality? What is important to them? And what are the things that they need to do to be able to function every day as independently as they want to? So that's a really neat thing about PAWS dogs is they allow clients to have that ability to do things independently. They can dictate when something is done and how it's done through the partnership with their dog. But the dogs not only have an impact on the client and, their, and the client's independence, it also can have a huge impact on the entire family. For a lot of our clients, their family feels the need to be with them all the time for safety. What if they were to fall? What if they were to have a seizure and not be able to get help? When they have that dog there, that dog becomes that lifeline. The dog is able to help the client if they need it. So it frees up family members to have their own roles and to be independent. For a lot of our clients, they once they have that dog, they never go anywhere without that dog. It's their safety net, it's their companion, and it's also their bridge to the outside world. For a lot of clients, when they go out without their dog, they're invisible. People ignore them, people don't pay attention to them. But when they have a dog there, it's a bridge. It helps the client to be confident to go out in the world. And it can become a great conversation starter as well. People start to notice them. They start to engage them in the community. I get to work with the clients from the day they get their dog from PAWS all the way up through the process until they finish their training. And they're really working together well as a team. We always get to that point where they struggle. And I say, just hang on there. Get through it, and you will get there. And they get to that point where just one day they're like, wow, this isn't my dog I'm training anymore. This is my dog, this is my partner. We just get it now. I took him out yesterday for a walk and it just seemed like everything clicked. He listened to me, I listened to him. We worked together. I didn't have to think about giving him the commands, we just did it and he just responded. And I love it when you get there and the client tells you a story that they hit that point because it's like, yes, we've done it, we're gonna do it. Together there's so much more than they were before.